We are the Long Island Tea, where we spill the tea. It's true. Uh, We're from Long Island, so we say, how you doing? How you doing? I'm doing good. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? We are here in Southampton. At the impeccable Garden City Hotel. We're in the middle of the vines. Yes. This is Memorial Weekend. So it's there's kickoff. Like, We're here. It's summertime. Long Island of Wine of the Week. But everyone's stopping for Sonia in your city. I am very happy to have made Newsday's Top 100. <laughs> Brand new super size episode with celebrity guests. With songwriting, we all go through hard times and bad days. I'm so excited to be, you know, on Long Island. There it is. Welcome back to another episode of Long Island Tea, where we spill the tea on living your best Long Island life. And we're going to do that especially today with our special guest. But first, I'm Kristen. I'm Sharon. And we have a very special, our guest who we're just like, now we're, we're best friends, uh, Elisa DiStefano. <laughs> we are best friends. I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> I know. We've been, uh, we've known you for years, obviously, and yes. you are, you've been the MC of our annual gala. And um, we're just so happy to have you. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. Such good energy in this space. I <laughs> love it. You said yes. that. You came in the office. You're like, such I'm good like, energy. I'm like, oh, thank God. <laughs> I'm like, really? Like right here? Right. Or just things like, oh, wait. Um, but so, Elisa, you know the pod, right? You've listened. So we start yes. every episode with saying, how you doing? How, how you doing? doing? Yay. <laughs> Cheers. And we have our new how you doing mugs. Yes, I love it. We got them. Oh, yes. Yes. So if you're watching on YouTube, they are so coyote. What do we uh, have here? Uh, oh, yeah, we'll talk about the wine, too. But the, the mugs, we got in some new colors. Ours are bright, sunny yellow. And you're like a nice, cool gray. I love it. I love yes, it. Yes, and we have them in teal. Um, and we want to thank Simply Made Greetings. Have you, do you know Simply Made Greetings? I feel like I should. No. Oh, yeah. she's adorable. Oh, my God. They're a great local Long Island business. She's a mom. She oh. ha- each one of these is hand-painted. And each can one I tell you, unique. when she delivered them, she brought her toddler in and, like, it was the cutest thing. It was thing. her mother-in-law, she said. Her oh, mother-in-law okay. so delivered some, them, yeah. Yeah. Shannon's like, they they were delivered, and, and, you know, her baby's with her, and she had, like, a mango in the in the box, and she's like, oh, that's mine. <laughs> she's so cute, and she um, she makes all these different hilarious, adorable mugs. If you go on, you can follow her on Instagram, Simply Made Greetings. So we went back to her, and we were like, we want some new mugs, because we had some ones that said Long Island Tea. And she's just, the last time her husband dropped him off, remember that? And that and was the, the entire talk of, office was Ooh. like, <laughs> Where did we order that from? <laughs> but she's just such a cute uh, entrepreneur, and we w- we love supporting our yes. Long Island, you know, businesses and makers and moms. So Me too. thank you so much. We love them, and you can go on um, discoverlongisland.com slash shop to get yours. Yeah, and while and they're limited, by the way, they're limited edition. So and if you do um, five star review, you can get five dollars off. I mean, that's amazing. Come on, you have it all figured out over here. I <laughs> know, I know, and they are they are limited, and they're not easy to get back in stock. So. Um, please do that quickly because, and they're awesome. I, you know, I use them for my coffee, yeah, coffee. every morning. Yeah, and it's a it's a healthy pour. It is. It's good. <laughs> I love it. It's good. I love it. So thank you. We're very excited. Um, just talking about what a crazy week, Elisa. When you came in, you brought me three crystals. <laughs> I'm very woo woo, as my husband calls me. <laughs> I love it. I love and it. And I'm like, oh, thank you so much. I've never been so in need of crystals. So what do they mean? What are they for? The three ones. Positivity, mm-hmm. protection, and wellness, which I thought, yeah, we're perfect talking timing. about perfect. Was yes. good for because that's so funny. Because last week I said my the, my word of the year would be positivity. Yes, remember Aww. that she knew it. And uh, man, it's been the craziest week. You know, it comes and it comes. It ebbs and flows. I mean, yeah. you and I have been trying to get together for lunch for what? I mean, it was getting ridiculous. It's, <laughs> it's really we crazy. We wouldn't give up. I know. And I, I still won't. Here. I still won't. Me no, too. we need to definitely get together because I'm like, it's so crazy, our schedules. And sometimes it's easier to do something spontaneous than yeah. to pl- try like and what plan what are you doing it. right now? Go Always. Meet me. Yeah. yeah ex- every, that sounds often easier. But Those are the best. They I are. Know, the then best. it's like impromptu. You're yes. not like you know, trying to schedule right. and move things around. Right. And then you're like, you're relieved when you see that person because you're like, oh, thank God. For, the worst. Thank you for calling. Mm-hmm. Instead <laughs> of having to cancel. Right. And have that mm-hmm. like, for lack Guilt. of a better, Guilt. right, yeah. anxiety about having to cancel. Yeah. No, that's the best. I have, you know, one of my, one of the things I really want to do this year is to leave room for the magic in my schedule. To like leave openings so that I'm open to Things like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, at least, you know, usually we start off by telling us about our week or what's going on. But you know what? As you're talking and you're sharing your, you know, your cute woo-woo and magic, (laughs) why don't you tell people who you are, what your history is, what you're doing today? 
Um, okay, well, I was on News 12 Long Island for 17 years. Mm-hmm. Um, been working in television more than that. Started when I was just 10 years old. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> Looks like I it. was born at the studio. <laughs> yeah, I was born at the studio. Um, and then recently, actually not that six months now already, wow. um, I made the switch. I went over to Newsday. Mm-hmm. Um, so no more 1.45 a.m. wake up. I don't know which how is, you did that. But Especially I'm making school kids, lunches, like, which is just as challenging. <laughs> I hear you. I have learned. Um, and yeah, I'm a mom. I have two kids, a six-year-old, mm-hmm. and my daughter is three. She'll be four. In a few weeks, I say like three going on 13, because yeah. oh, that's yeah. the daughter I have, and it's going to serve her so well one day. But right yeah. now, you know, mm-hmm. picking out clothing in the morning is just a mm-hmm. thing in and of itself. Um, and we own two restaurants where we live in Point Lookout, so that's, you wow. know, I'm an entrepreneur at heart. That's yeah, the whole what, other are, you part t- of what are your restaurants? Tell us your restaurants. Um, we have Mo and Elisa, so my husband is Mo, and I'm Elisa. Oh so my God, get it. Kai out. They can <laughs> which is a whole story behind the name. I could, I could say for another podcast. Um, and then we have The Point, which we um, sadly closed right after COVID. And we were like, you know what? We, we just, like so many restaurants, couldn't, couldn't make it. Yeah. We're like, let's take this time to put some fresh paint and to do some things mm-hmm. we wanted to do. 26 months later, um, we reopened last summer. So we're just trying to... You know, refigure it out like so oh many gosh. restaurants. Yeah, that's amazing. Though. On Long Island, are trying to do. Um, but yeah. yeah, I'm really proud of what we've done there. So and and Point Lookout for those that don't know. So because you know we're listened to in 62 countries, Elisa. If you can believe that, that is so neat. Um, but Long Island is on the South Shore. There's most people have heard of Jones Beach or Robert Moses Beach, Correct. something like that, and then uh, Long Beach, and then Point Lookout is like the end of Long Beach. That's how I describe it. Right. Near the yeah. nautical mile. And my friend Kelly from NYC mm. Company lives there. Oh. And when we were carpooling, I drove her to her house. And I was like, this is like the cutest neighborhood. It is so beach vibes. Yes. Very cool. It feels almost like a, a, a to me, it feels like California yeah. almost. Yeah. Like you're in Laguna Beach yes. type of these it's a cute lot quieter. houses. Yes. It's awesome area. And it's a 15 mile per hour speed limit, which makes it like, you may yeah, as well walk really, yeah. in this parking lot. I really, yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's, a neat, it's a really neat place. Truthfully, I, living on Long Island my whole life, mm-hmm. the first time I ever went to Point Lookout was on the third date with my husband because he was wow. living there. And I remember pulling over and texting my girlfriends, I have no idea where I am. It's, yeah. Here is the address in case in case I am not, you know, if yeah. I get lost. If, if, yeah, this yeah. Is, I'm meeting this guy. Here's the address. I don't know what this place is. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and now you know, it's your been life. There ever since, and now it's my life. It's cute. Yeah. That's a total Long Island story, I yeah. feel like, um, having Long Island teenage girls that it's it's so funny because Long Island is like this metropolitan urban area where off of New York City there's three plus million people that live here and yet we'll ask my daughter or stepdaughter like hey when you're going to the library can you also get some books on like Europe where we're going and they're like no that's scary Mm -mm. I'm not gonna talk to the librarian no (laughs) Uh, it's like or go somewhere else and get this and they're like no never been there huh not gonna do that so <laughs> like, funny. But you know, there are so many pockets of Long Island and it's so funny because when we named it Discover Long Island, not Visit Long Island when we rebranded. It was because we knew we we're talking to Long Islanders. Mm-hmm. And there are so many wonderful nicks, crannies, like, you know, amazing places that Long Islanders have not even yet discovered yet. It's mm-hmm. incredible. You know, I've been really fortunate because so much of my job is going out and discovering right. those things. And really, I think my appreciation for Long Island really grew tremendously because I started doing this road trip series and I was going to our preserves and our parks and all of these places that I knew existed but that I never went and spent time there and I just felt like wow there are just so many gems here we are so lucky to live here you were so cute you used to watch your series and I was like there's Elisa um, (laughs) hiking in wedges again (laughs) she's like fully hiking the preserves in wedges I was like girl I don't know how you do that listen people have stories about me they're like (laughs) I was like she's out there in her cute shoes (laughs) Just, it, I don't know how you do it because I would have immediately well. fallen down those stairs. Kristen, no, well. you did it. I'm telling you. Um, <laughs> I'm no, well. But that's really, and so, so 
before we get too deep into like the conversation, we're going to talk about wellness and we're going to talk about celebrity and all the fun stuff that people like to listen to. But how can people find you and follow you with what you're doing now? Because you're also doing great content for Newsday now. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. So we're launching Newsday TV, which is really exciting. Um, so right now that is, has not been launched officially yet. Mm-hmm. Um, but we still have Newsday TV on the website. Um, so you can go on the website and all my segments are there. They send out emails if you're a subscriber on social media, of course. I, I try to do as much as I can on social media. And it's Elisa Di e- Stefano yeah. TV okay. because there is another Elisa yeah. Di Stefano. And during the pandemic, she lives in Italy. We made friends. Oh, oh my God, that's so funny. And I promise her well, that yeah, she has kids the same age as mine. Isn't that funny? That is um, so funny that that's you right. took the time right. to like reach out to her. Well, I was like, like, who is this person who has my name? Like a right. long time ago, and I made the connection. And then like that's during hysterical. COVID, we somehow came together. Came, we did an Instagram live together. And it's you like, were like pen pals, right? And I like I, I want to like make like a TV movie about that's my, my journey to go it's like the holiday. Holiday. in my it's homeland like, of Italy, it's, right? Yeah, it's kind of like, like the holiday, yeah. based on the same yeah. name. I was I just telling my son about like when we were younger before like you know emails and stuff like that we used to have to write letters pen to a pals. random stranger in the oh, middle yeah. the, we had pen pals it's like homeworks did you go away on vacation and make pen pals like I yes. had a pen pal in Deer Park I grew up in Hot Pog and it felt like so far away <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you probably oh, went to God. like Deer Park Pool or something like that yeah. <laughs> you wrote letters to someone in the next <laughs> community over I mean but it felt like far I mean that's yeah. so funny as a kid no, so I love true. it so uh, Newsday TV is going to be what on streaming yes Okay. Wow. Yes, awesome. an when is that so, launching? Soon. Soon. Okay. Yeah. It's fine. No. 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 We won't. We won't pin you down. <laughs> soon. Soon. It's soon. But, soon. Yeah. but if people follow you. your Insta, yes. um, they will She's be able to follow. She's teasing. She's <laughs> teasing. <laughs> if I had a date, I'd really tell you. But <laughs> yeah. No. 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 Plus, I just love following your social because Thank you, you know you, it, it's it's a good mix, and I think it's hard to do. I've been so off my social lately because me too. It's hard. It's it, hard. It's like such a job. Yeah. But it's your it is your career, but it's also your family. And it's sharing just enough, but not too much, where it gets weird, you know? Right. Mm-hmm. Like, my son's six now, and someone went over to him the other day and was like, oh, I heard you went to Disney on Ice and this whole thing. And he was like, yeah, how does she I know? know. And, I, and all of a sudden, I'm like, ooh, yeah. 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 Like, yeah. he, like, understands now. Now, they, my daughter's like, no pictures. And I'm like, <sighs> yeah, it uh, yeah. started at three. Yeah. Um, so, it's a really hard thing mm-hmm. to navigate. Yeah, yeah, I think they'll, you know, having teenagers now, they, they love to hate it. Uh, there yeah. was a time when they were like, "This, who, mom, you're not an influencer. Get over yourself. <laughs> and now their teachers in high school, they'll be like, oh, I love your mom's podcast. Uh, she mm-hmm. talked about not eating the green bagel because she's on a diet. And they were like, that's <laughs> way. They look at their teacher, but then they're like, okay. They, they think it's kind of cool. That you know? is. So it is. goes in ebbs and flows too. Yeah. But you don't want to do something like Kenzie's always telling me. And you're sharing too much about where we live mm-hmm. and our school. And it's like, she's like, mom, there's weirdos out Crazies. there. And I feel like yeah. the roles have reversed where I used to say that to her. And now right, she's like, right. mom, that's funny. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a, you know, it's so much uncharted territory. It's hard, right? Like yeah. your kids are such a part of your life. It's like disingenuous if you don't include it. Right. Yeah, in conversation. In, in yeah. social media. Yeah. But um, yeah. yeah. And I'm like one of those people, like I, I, I'm sure every social media manager will cringe when they hear me say this, but like, I don't really plan content. Like, I feel like I have to like feel it and like mm-hmm. want to put it out there. Yeah. And sometimes I'll be like, oh, I don't want to, you know. So, I don't know. It, it's it's a lot. I mean, like for your job in particular, like you you specifically have to kind use. of use you girl. <laughs> yeah. To like plan it out because you you like you don't want to. Well, for me, I want to shine a light on the people that I'm right. interviewing, right? right? So that right. part of it, I want to plan out because I want to make sure I do something on social yeah. for them. So and they're and they and they're it. and they're kind of expecting you to, right? Because of your platform. I mean, you're you're being kind of modest, but you're like you know you are uh, Long Island's like sweetheart. You're Aww, like you're like, you. Mar- I would say like America's news, sweetheart, but you're Long Island sweetheart. <laughs> thank Everyone you. Loves, like, thank you. You're always that I like positive. That. Thank and you. your your uh, your call sign, you know, I'm Elisa Stefano. Everyone knows it. Yeah, so, so cute. Thank it's you. a brand. It's Thank a brand, you. and so it must be a lot of pressure, though, too. You know, um, I don't. When people want you I to use your platform, if you're if you're I, there, you know, you know what, what I mean. Sometimes, like I feel like sometimes, like I I I am always of like I'm not doing enough for them. Right. Like I'm not. If I do a segment, I need to make sure everything I feature. Like I I did a segment on Good Day New York. And um, I featured all local businesses from Long Island in this segment, and I forgot to say one. Mm -hmm. And can I tell you, it was such a wonderful day, but I can't let it go that I forgot to mention one name. And I'm like, 
okay, you stop beating yourself up. Like you did the best you could. But yes, I feel like I owe it. To be, mm-hmm. I feel like I like. How it's much on my do we talk about that? Too. We talk yeah. about this all the time. That I think, as women, as people striving for for perfection, you know, men or women, Michael, mm-hmm. you know, and Chris. But you can do. I, I will leave an event, and I and I'll have ninety nine people say that was amazing, and, and the one that's like, you know, you seemed a little rushed. Ugh. And I will. I go in such a deep dark hole. <laughs> Spiral, <laughs> Immediately, spiral down. like yeah. mm-hmm. sleepless nights mm-hmm. of how could I have messed that up? Or you forgot something, or you mispronounced someone's name, or mm-hmm. and it's just so. And that's what uh, I think about. We were talking about wellness this month, January wellness, and Catherine Canadeo, one of our last speakers, she said those those mean things you say to yourself, those you know, those negative, those things, those criticisms, and you know. One of the things I remember you saying, I don't know how you said it. I don't remember exactly um, because when you were leaving News 12 or going, I can't remember what platform you used, but you kind of talked about, you know, the jobs that I knew I was qualified for that I didn't get and the opportunities and, and, you know, taking a risk and going for it. Sometimes it's hard and sometimes it's scary. But, you know, I've been thinking a lot lately about like imposter syndrome. Mm -hmm. And do we ever get over that? Do we ever get over that imposter syndrome where we think, you know, we, we can do 99 things right, but the one thing you do wrong, then you immediately start self-guessing and, and, and saying, oh my God, what I'm, how am I even here? What am mm-hmm. I doing? Or trying to overprove yourself yeah. to feel like you're justifying. Right. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. And I think about that a lot because I don't want my daughter to be to do that. Yeah. And they do. It's, I mean, they're teenagers. They do. They're yeah. like, oh, I got one bad grade. Right. And they just dwell on it. You're like, oh, I'm so stupid. Everybody else got a good grade but me. And mm-hmm. and you're like, you, you're a straight A student. And you're, you're an also Amy. Like, yeah. calm down. Yeah. It's finding that confidence and, and holding on to it. Yeah. You know, how, how do you do that? I it's mean, that's like reading the comments, right? Right. Yes. Right. And, you know, it's there could be a hundred good comments and the one, the one mean one yeah. that just like then keeps you up. Well, I stopped reading comments before I go to bed. That's <laughs> um, smart. You know, and then you have to think like, okay, well, can I learn anything from this? Or is this just pure someone just mean. being mean? Yeah. And sometimes you can learn something and sometimes there, there is a little right. truth in it and it makes you better or think about things a little bit differently and then sometimes it's just me and you pray for the person and you and you don't give them any more energy but yeah. it's you know it's not it's not easy to yeah, filter that I out. really f- I see that a lot in uh you know because the newscast we get to know some of you guys through what we do and we become friends and you follow each other on social mm-hmm. and you see the people leaving like especially for women on television like it always has made me crazy I, I'm a graduate of the Walter Cronkite School of Journalism so I've always been like a journalism junkie and it's always made me crazy that the men newscasters can be like older and overweight and like sometimes just like straight morbidly obese mm-hmm. right and that's fine but the women can't oh, like if the women gain three pounds oh, it's immediately mm-hmm. or have you know look tired have yeah. dark circles or their hair having mm-hmm. a bad hair day it or they don't like the outfit oh it's crazy this <laughs> group my life <laughs> and not only newscasters life. but like politicians women in the spotlight and it's a lot of times women yes I, I, you know it's every once in a while like I, I would like, do the dive into like who wrote this, right? You know you're going who wrote in, this. You're going in deep, and, and then you see like somebody mm-hmm. with like hugging children, and you're like, wait, and like you wrote this to me, like yeah. you're a mom. Like, do you think it's I mean easy waking up at this time uh. and any job you do, not even just waking right. up, like like have a little empathy, have a little compassion, but yeah, it, it's you know it, it's hard. And that's why like I feel bad for the kids on social media because I yeah. feel like they have that. Like I chose to be on television right. like that. Yeah. Granted, none of that was around when I chose. Right. To be on television, right. I chose to be on television because I wanted to tell stories and be a journalist, not because I wanted to post my outfit on Instagram every right. day. Right. You know, not because I was, you know, trying to in any way be an influencer right. in any way. Didn't even exist. Um, yeah, but you know, it's such part of of what I feel like you know better than I do because you have older kids. But it's yeah. like we were talking about with Dr. Reed last yeah. week, and when they were post, you know, they'll they'll put a post up on Instagram or Facebook, and if it didn't get enough likes, they'll delete it Ugh. and then put it back up later. The pressure, it's just crazy. I, I, I'm so thankful that I grew up in a time without social media. Oh yeah. Oh, it's the I poor can't. kids. The poor kids. <laughs> but like as Thank a God. parent, right? What you said, like you you're dealing with it with teenagers, but like 
what is it going to be when our kids? Because I have a six year old and a oh, three year old. I and, pray for us that <laughs> right? like, it goes so far, like <laughs> yeah. one way that it goes when, back. To, oh, God. Yeah. Like, well, we were saying last, uh, the one that you just been. aired, um, the Today Show was talking about the new trend for teenagers is flip phones again, like the mm-hmm. Razor, like the ones that, not the Samsung flip phones that are the computer, but like legit Old flip school, phones. Like Motorola. Like, like, you know, like record players are back <laughs> yeah. and, and Polaroids that now it's flip phones. And I'm like, please, uh, let's bring so that funny. back. Yeah, let's bring so that back. I'm Be- all for the flip phones. Yeah, because so we're going to talk about some wellness things. Um, and one of the things we've been talking about for a while regarding wellness that I've been threatening to do for a while. Mm-hmm. And finally, yesterday I did it is we put a bunch of stuff on our Amazon page. We actually have an Amazon page. I didn't know that. Yeah, so Amazon.com. Cool. Oh, that's dangerous. I know. So this is great. <laughs> Middle you, of the you, night. Go ordering. check it. Yeah. It's Amazon.com slash shop slash Discover Long Island. Oh, that's easy. Yeah. And we have a bunch of stuff on there. We put, you know, gift guides on there for like Father's Day or Mother's Day or whatever. So we put one on there for wellness. Yeah. And I went through and I put a bunch of the stuff we've been talking about. So I just bought the, um, it's it's in route. I don't have it yet. But there's this gel, cooling gel eye mask, Ooh. which is a, it helps with your like eye effects, but yeah. also it helps you sleep. And um, Catherine was saying it's because of all the screen time. When you put the eye mask on, it blocks that light out, and it's really helpful. We put like a massaging heat back thing on there. That, um, I have that. That's <gasps> amazing. Uh, I, I I love that. And this, love these it. are also potentially, by the way, Valentine's gifts. Oh yeah, yes. like just so you know, yes. uh, true, double true, duty. True. We talked about a good night's sleep and the um, just indulging in some really nice sheets. Yeah. So I put uh, some uh, Egyptian cotton sheets oh, on yeah. there. Important. So there's everything on there from like it could be se- like the eye mask is seven ninety nine. It's yeah. like five dollars, seven dollars stuff to like hundred dollars stuff. Yeah. This yeah. is a good list. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so when you go on there, you can check it out. We I put the organic coconut oil that yes. Catherine was talking about. She, Catherine, our wellness ad, uh, advisor, she was like, she puts organic coconut oil. That's all she uses on her face, on Ooh. her. Bu- she's sixty and she looks <gasps> drop dead gorgeous. gorgeous. And she, I was like, Michael was in love. Michael was like, I'm straight. <laughs> when she left, he was like, I, need some I coconut love oil. her. Yeah, so we put it on here. And it's it's not expensive. Um, she was talking about Epsom salts in the soaking bath. And um, we put some house slippers. Because, of course, you need to come home and take these heels and shoes off. You know, oh, those yeah. wedges, that, those cute oh, wedges of yours. literally like what I do. The Girl, minute I walk hiking, in the door, I'm yeah. like, shoes are off. I'll yeah. keep my work clothes on all night until I'm ready for bed. But I take my shoes off and I put my slippers on. The slippers, especially, so yeah. Uh, and then we put um, this this thing that is it's this uh, lanolin moisturizer. It's like some kind of uh, Super Balm 101, and supposedly it, it's an ointment. It can cure like 101 things. Is this you do with this ointment? It was like it was like eight dollars. Hmm. Maybe it was eighteen dollars. Whatever. Right. It it serves like 101 different purposes. So I put it on there. Um, this is I thought was so cool. I kind of uh, hint hint maybe want this for Valentine's Day. <laughs> um, it's a luxury towel warmer. <gasps> That's like a dream. My sister has this. Oh. Do you know the difference? <laughs> it's insane. Oh. And I'm not even just talking in the winter. You know we're we're mutual friends with the Fleischmans. Yes, love them. Oh, uh, best. In fact, uh, Paul Fleischman officiated my wedding. No. So, yeah. Oh no. Like he we're really close to them. Is. Like a special soul. He's amazing, and he was with Newsday for a million years. And his wife Carrie, oh, who's t- the sweetest person in the world, my daughters love her. And we, we go to their house and swim, even in the summer. And she puts the towels in the dryer. And she, every, when they get out of the pool, she's got warm towels. She's so sweet, girl. Oh my gosh! That's, this morning, I just, I just this TMI bought my son new <laughs> underwear, <laughs> and I washed it last night. And I was like, you know, this morning, I'm like, let me just run it in the dryer, you know, before I give it to him. And he put him on, and he was like, oh. I'm like. Oh no! Now, <laughs> now, now I'm going to be see what you started or putting underwear. Yeah. Maybe I better just get a towel warmer because oh I think I, there's no going back yeah. now. From it's just a rack. Like it's it's amazing. Yeah. Well, this is like a little. It's like a little bowl. Oh, uh, it looks like a little bowl, and you put the towel in there, and you put the lid on it, and then when you get out, you just take it out. <gasps> mm-hmm. I'm telling you, please buy one for me, somebody, <laughs> universe. Yeah. Intense. Um, and then we put this. It's actually beautiful. It's a ceramic ultrasonic essential oil diffuser. And I there, love you were just talking it. about yeah. that. But mm-hmm. it's gorgeous. It looks like a piece of art. Yeah, it's beautiful. And it's ceramic. Yeah. And so something about the ceramic helps the oil mm-hmm. stay. I never heard that. I'm telling you. Look at this. And lastly, a coffee mug warmer. Yeah, for like your desk or whatever to keep your coffee nice, nice and, and toasty in the winter. <laughs> just like little self care things. Just like little. Sometimes the littlest things make a big difference. Can make you feel good. Yeah. So this is on Amazon.com 
slash shop slash discover cool. Long Island. I cannot wait. Yeah, and you can go check out it. And then we've got like a bunch of other stuff on there, like you know, from that we keep on there. Um, but literally, it's it's awesome. So hopefully that helps. And we are always talking about these things. And if you have suggestions on things that we should put on there, DM us. Um, Michael can add them to our list. Um, and we want to share what we're talking about all the time with you guys. Um, okay, so Sharon, we should probably also, you know, is good for wellness. As Catherine said, my mother-in-law called me. She's like, so she listens every week. Mm -hmm. And she's like, I, okay, so I, 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 I've got the dark chocolates. 100% cacao. That she talked about. (laughs) And the cacao and something else. And then she's like, I haven't gotten the red wine yet, but you, she might convince me, but. We drink red wine for wellness. Yeah, I mean, so. it's absolutely delicious. We are drinking this week the Raphael La Fontana. And, Elisa, we like to chill our red wine. Oh. And yeah. just a little we bit. We learned this because we go out to the vineyards, and they teach us how to drink wine, right? Because when you go out to the vineyards, you can do, like, classes, mm-hmm. and they teach you. Yes. And they said it's not supposed to be room temperature. It's supposed to be whatever degrees it is. So you, it's a little chill. Really? Even the red. Oh, right. So I was just out there yesterday for the first time in a while. Which, um, where'd you go? We went, I, well, I, we, my videographer and I, yeah. <laughs> no, not my husband and I, unfortunately. <laughs> we know how I do feels. everything with my videographer. Um, we went to Pindar, which I haven't yeah. been, and we oh, did like so a fun. chocolate wine pairing. pairing. Yeah, for Valentine's <gasps> Day. But mm-hmm. the, And then we went to Peconic Bay, and we did Greg, um, nope, Chris Kelly, master beekeeper, oh. did a honey pairing with wine. <gasps> wow, so guys, that's so interesting. I probably, t- I have to watch it. I probably took like, I don't know, sips at each place. And my videographer, Drew, was like, are you okay to drive? And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like this is sad. Like, I'm yeah. a little woozy. <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, that happens they to us sometimes. They gave me some bread. I'm like, oh, I have like not even half a glass. Yeah. So I have to just watch it today. But um, You can tell yeah. when we eat or not before even this. We're, we have to be careful. Sometimes we'll like drink and sometimes we're like just sip because it depends on. That's yeah, why Michael has food for us. <laughs> Fruit. <it's laughs> just delicious. in case because we're running all the time and we don't have time mm. to eat. You don't have time to stop. And then you drink wine and talk about it and you're like, oh my God. Okay, so I'm sorry. So Raphael, have you been to Raphael? Uh, yes, not not yesterday, but, yeah. but yes. But yes. It is beautiful. It's really beautiful, Raphael. This is a balanced, full-bodied wine full of complexity and flavor, softened by velvety mm. tannins. Our reserve grapes used to produce this wine are hand-harvested, ha- hand-sorted, and wild-fermented. Yeah. Really nice velvety. Velvety. That's a really it is good velvety, description. Yeah. Really, like, usually, like, I'm kind of like, mm, but it was really nice. It is. It's, like, smooth. smooth. Yeah. Yeah, I it's like nice. This one. We, lo- we love our Long Island wine country, and it's their 50th anniversary this year. Did you know that? Are we doing something? Yeah, this yes. is it. This is it. No, we are doing something. We're working with them. They're going to do a big um, event in August celebrating their 50th anniversary. Right. So we're going to be working with them, and we'll we'll do something with you too. We'll, yes. we'll loop you in on that. I that would be um, cool. I mean, it just reminded me, like, what a treasure. Like, yeah. I, I'm driving, and I'm like, I feel like I'm. I, I I mean, I've I've driven that way so many times, but you forget yeah. every time. And as I'm driving out, I'm like, I feel like I'm somewhere else. Like, it's, I know. Why don't I, I do this it. more often? Like, why do I not? I think every single person feels that way every time we go out there mm-hmm. uh, or anywhere. Even the nautical, any direction. Uh, by the way, you know where Elisa got married? Now I feel like a weird stalker. <laughs> but you posted it like the other day. Where? Ohika Castle. Oh, <gasps> you know, Ohika oh. Castle is like m- m- one of my favorite places yeah. on Long yeah. Island. It is very special to me. Yeah. yeah. I can say that I, I we got married at Gurney's, so I'm always like, oh. it's, it's my favorite place. I'm going to say it because that's where I got married. Yes. So you can so say it's your it's Yes, it is. Special. It's special to me. Um, I, I always joke with them. I'm like, listen, when I retire, I will come and give the tours. Like, right? I, like I'll, I'll, I'll yeah, I'm, I'm the worst person to go with because I'm like, okay, well, I have to give you every single detail Aww. about every room. It's so annoying whenever you sit next to me at an event there. Like, I can't help myself. Yeah. Yeah. They're probably You're like, like who is this know it all? I'm, no. like, I'm like, you have to know. I'm like, and then go to the bathroom and make a right and you'll say, oh, that's but awesome. It's just, I do that it's really too special. because it's such, a, we were there uh, just last week and I do that too because I'm like, did you know the portrait in the library <laughs> it depicts the, uh, it was the guy who owned it and the, the Monopoly game was mimicked after him and everyone's like what? Is that true? I don't, I'm like I don't know I think so Have you true. been to the pastry kitchen? No oh, Okay so next time you go to Ohika Castle you have to go visit Daniel Andriotti in the pastry kitchen Down, it's downstairs you oh. go you walk through the office oh my god and you go around and he has these jars of the best chocolate chip cookies oh my that gosh. you will ever have in your life I promise you and he has all of the desserts and you open up the refrigerator and like all the best things from any wedding you've ever been to are all in there and you get to taste everything and he's like the nicest oh. sweetest so soul so I think Tegan's so. friend is his daughter 
because she was like my she was I was telling her over there and she said something I was talking about at Castle and she goes oh yeah my my friend's dad is the pastry chef <gasps> oh. and I she's like I was just saying how you were there and she's like oh my friend's dad works there I was like oh that's so it's such a small it's small. a small he island is, he is <laughs> like a special he's for my wedding you know he designs these have you ever seen his cakes I'm sure you've seen his cakes yeah. they're like I've seen him, they have models of them there. I yeah, mean, I saw them when we were there. Amazing. And he said to me, like, it's my gift to you. What cake do you want? And I was like, you know what? Just surprise me. As long as, like, you make it with love. He's like, but what do you want? I'm like, I, 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 just, just surprise me. And when they rolled out that cake, I mean, I, like, gasped. Aww. It was, like, the most beautiful cake. We fed my entire neighborhood. <laughs> because For, each letter yeah. was cake. Yeah, I mean, oh the whole neighborhood had cake from my wedding. But um, that's yeah, awesome. Ohika Castle is just magical. So it funny is. story. One of the things I was going to talk about, you know, I've been binge watching Succession. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Have you watched that? I mean, I, the only thing I've been watched lately is Bluey. Um, <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. That's a thing. <laughs> but um, enough, to, enough to know it. But unfortunately, I yeah. Don't. Yeah. So it's, all my kids have all watched it. and Everyone's talking about Succession. And it's really, really. Have you watched it, Alyssa? So we're watching Succession, and it's super cool, and it's all based in New York City, and it's about uh, the uh, the family owned businesses, like a media mogul, mm-hmm. right? Owned newspapers, and how it's kind of like old school, and it's you know always threatened. It's almost like a Yellowstone, but of the media. Right. People are always trying to buy it out and take it over, and hostile takeovers. And it's an old dad, and there's the young kids, and they're all filthy rich, spoiled. But it's like, who's going to succeed and take over the business? And they're all like fighting amongst each other. It's like dynasty kind of. Um, but it's based in the city and we're watching it. And they were like, oh, we're going to go to Hungary for our you know, executive retreat. And they're on the jet and they're going to Hungary. And then it shows them pulling up. And they're, I'm like, that's not Hungary. That's Ohiga <laughs> Castle. Oh, my gosh. They're so driving funny. through Ohiga yeah. Castle. I'm like, what? That's and then, and then it's the whole it's the whole um, balcony that you wow. it's so clearly oh he could castle yeah yeah but in the show it's hungry it's it's amazing how much how many places they use on Long Island in that show oh he could castle um, I loved when Royal Pains was filming there yeah. we went here something so funny so one of my very first live shots. Um, for News 12 was it was um, for June Brides and it was a, a wedding live shot and at the time well I'm still kind of go over the top with the things that I do and I'm like we need brides and we need cakes and we need to have all these different segments and I, I made them crazy and I went there and I met with them and we had it all outside um, by the by the formal garden like mm-hmm. right on the lawn there and we were so excited and I had all these models and it was so beautiful and I go live on the air and I have on this like really pretty like white outfit because I was trying to be bridally and then all of a sudden all the sprinklers go <gasps> on and, oh my god <laughs> and they weren't oh, Ohika Castle sprinklers are not like any they're like powerful freezing oh cold god. and the brides go running and the poor woman I'm interviewing Cla- Claudia Copquin I don't know if you know Claudia yeah. she has a broken leg and so <gasps> I'm trying to block her with the bouquets of flowers. I'm getting soaked. I mean, and this is all playing. If it happened now, it would definitely be on YouTube. Yeah, it would be viral. viral. It would be viral for sure, but it was so long ago. Um, but, But they still tell me when I go there, like... The reason why, like, that never happened on, like, any of the TV shows was because, because they never thought, like, you have to shut off the sprinklers because it right. was, you know, 5 o'clock in the morning. Right. He's like, because, you know, because you, it you're happened the, yeah, yeah, now they so remember. So now they oh know. Yeah, so it now became part of the checklist yep. when they have filmings there. They, they say that. It yeah. is. Yeah. Yes. Now they know they have to shut off all the sprinklers. Well, and... <laughs> Live TV. Anything can happen on live TV. Anything right? can happen oh on live TV. Oh my God, you poor thing. Oh, you must have been like... I was just really upset that my hair was ruined, you know? <laughs> yeah, makeup's yeah. gone. <laughs> I mean, it's hard enough. So I was watching that, and then they were supposed to go... Then they were also supposed to be at some retreat in Switzerland mm-hmm. at some big lodge, and I was like, where is that? So Thomas is Googling it, and it's at Whiteface Lodge, Whiteface Mountain. They film all in New York, yeah. wow. but it's great. It's And it's so funny what an incredible... Production. Long Island as well as state that we live in yes. that could mimic as all of these global places mm-hmm. that is mm-hmm. just in our backyard. I Sands that. Point, like they use a lot. Yes. Yeah. You'll start to see it. Yeah. I never knew not being a Long Islander. I saw all these places and I go back and watch them now and I'm like, what? <laughs> That's, that's Shelter that Island Furies. Who knew? <laughs> and I mean, it's, it's you know. so good for us whenever we can get anybody to film here because, like, right down to the dry cleaners to you know yes. the delis, it just it helps oh, our community you're so, so much. Right. I, you, you know, I love that you understand when people come here how it impacts the small businesses. So true. Um, also, big Long Island news. Mm. What did you hear that we're getting our very first Iron Man? Yeah, huge. The Iron Man, not like a triathlon, but right. an Iron Man race. 
they just That's announced incredible. it. Yeah, it's going to be in September of 2023, and actually registration opens February one. Already, like already, it's like tomorrow. Next, like, oh, yeah. uh, that's not that far away. And, and it's at Jones Beach. How Can great. you imagine biking along the oh Wanta gosh. Parkway, swimming in Jones I Beach? Mean, that's like, I mean, I mean, what else happens? Us, right? Right. Right. What's the, I was like, what's the third thing? You bike, you swim, then you're. I'm like, I'm not going to do it, you obviously, run. but. You run. Yeah, you run. So, yes. I mean, think about that. How that'll bring people. Iconic. Yeah, it's Iconic. Awesome. People go, like, who are iron men and yeah. women, they go to, like, all over the place. Oh, so yeah. This is, this is a huge. big. And, and and this is, like, this is it's huge. not cheap. It's not a cheap sport to train to do that. Yeah. And so people dedicate their life to it. And you get, like, a lot of corporate CEOs, not me. <laughs> not us. No, no. No. Not me. Listen, I'm just trying to get in 30 minutes on the treadmill these days. Good for right? you. Like, I try to do that, too. I, this morning, I was, like, reading the paper. I got up early, and I, I looked at the Peloton. I'm like, I should do that. Today's not your day, bro. No, it's not your day. <laughs> it's not your day. But I thought that was really cool um, that the Iron Man was coming. Yeah, that's amazing. Yes. And, um, and it's about to be Valentine's Day. I know. I mean, you're already, like, ready for yeah, it. You look so cute with your little red. So yeah, cute. and you were saying you're about to be featured in a magazine, Bella Magazine. Yes, which is really exciting. I was like, wait, are you sure me? Talk about imposter syndrome, right? I was like, oh man, well, they have all these really incredible women. Like, what am I going to say? They asked me two questions, and when I tell you, I write like I'm a very fast writer. These two questions took me days to, to answer. answer. I know it's like, about yourself. I'm like, oh. Yeah. Like, I need to say the right thing. And I was like, you know, let it come from the heart. Let it come from the heart. I'm like, can you say what the questions were? I mean, really, really easy questions. Who influenced you in your career? (laughs) Right? So now it's like I have like a wedding list of people that I feel like I have to include. I don't want to. And then why is it so important that women support other women? It is a very Mm. simple question. You would think. You would think that's a simple question. But that's that's a long answer. And but when you try to answer it, you know, I went like really like far off course of as <laughs> I mean why is it important it's important what do you mean like you have to support other women yeah. but but why right. it's a good question right and think about how you would answer that why is it like you know you could say because your light doesn't dim when you share it you shine bright but you can't write that yeah. as the yeah. answer yeah. you know it's the truth right just because yeah. you share your light doesn't make you dim it makes you brighter right true but to try to come up with that answer but it really like made me think about the women, especially the last six months of my life, that I feel like have supported me mm-hmm. in some way. Yeah. Like, just tremendous gratitude. And it really made me think about how I show up to support other women. Mm. That's good. So. It's funny, because I was saying that, because I, I did that this women's luncheon with HIA a lie, and I, and, I, and I said, I was like, I was struggling, Sharon, I told Sharon, I'm like, mm-hmm. I do, like you, we do presentations all the time, we do events, we, you know, we can talk about whatever, when they're like asking you questions about yourself, I'm like, this is why, I, I don't know, how do you balance work-life balance? I'm like, I don't know, I don't know, it's, when it comes to personal questions, yes. or it's really, really hard, and that's a really interesting question. I can't wait to read about it. I can't yeah. wait to read yeah. what you actually wrote. I don't even know what I actually ended up writing. Honestly, like I You're at like, some point, I just deleted the whole thing and I just I'm like, okay, channel it from the heart. I just wrote something and I was like, I can't. This poor woman right. kept on asking me and I'm usually like good with deadlines, but I just couldn't, yeah, I just couldn't yeah. express it in the way that I wanted to express it yeah. with impact. Yeah, so, it's sorry. hard because you want it to be something that other women will be inspired Correct. by and not cliche and not flippant and not, uh, you know, also negative. It's right. hard, right? right? I said something to the effect, I don't think I actually answered the question. I think, <laughs> I think I said something to the effect about how, especially in my industry, you know, we're so conditioned to be competitive mm-hmm. and you feel like, okay, if this person has this job, then you can't have it. And there are only how many anchors and how many stations. And I think when you realize, when you come to the point that you realize that you're not really in competition with anyone and that you'll get what's meant for you when you're meant to have it, I think that's wow. when when it changes. That is really insightful, Elisa. I was just about to kind of bring it back to the wellness, but I think you just did because... That is really insightful that it's, we live in such a competitive, and even we were saying social media, is such a competitive world and environment. And I think history has taught us that to, you know, to climb that mountain, you have to 
climb on, step on, step on people, you know, mm-hmm. to get to the top. Yeah. And I think you're right. And and sometimes, especially now, and we see it in a lot of the younger generations, people think I should have everything and I should have it now. I want to achieve greatness. Right. You know, Sharon and I are always laughing that people come in like, um, you know, brand new out of college. And we're like, what are your requirements? Well, I'd like to make six figures. I need to be a vice president. <laughs> and you're like, what? <laughs> Welcome. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> no. But um, but there's a lot of competition out there, and I think if you can just do good work, that's it. Do good work and focus you enjoy, on your own work, and that you yeah. enjoy yes. and feel like you're making a positive impact, and enjoy what you do every day, so that it doesn't feel like work. Hopefully, mm-hmm. then good things will come. Absolutely, in its own time, and you know sometimes no is the best answer, right? Because it pushes you in the direction you're supposed to go yeah. in, and and you know I I just feel like looking, you know looking at other women, especially when you're scrolling social media and you see that they're doing something great to kind of flip it around and just say like, wow, okay, well then if, if, if I'm feeling this feeling, like what can I do not to achieve that? Cause that Mm -hmm. belongs to that person. But like, what do I need to change or do to like, to feel that I'm achieving something that I want to achieve? Does that make sense? Like, Like instead of, and then cheer that person on because yeah, you know, I, I feel like so many hands have reached out to me over the last, you know, few months, and it's just been like really an incredible experience. And then, uh, you know, so many people said to me, "Oh, remember when you supported me in this way?" And I didn't oh, remember, right? right? Like I, right, I didn't remember. I was right. like, "Oh but yeah, that was an impact. oh yeah, yeah, that was just you know." So I think you just have to keep paying it forward, and eventually, yeah. like yeah. that's how we make a change. I think I, you're right, and I was just gonna say, like, I go back to what Catherine Canadeo said, which is, don't feed into the, the negative comments mm-hmm. about yourself and and I think everyone does it no matter what level you are no matter how confident that person yes. you think is sitting next to you yeah. they're doing the same thing mm-hmm. I think I think men are women you know they're everyone's second guessing and trying to do their best and so it's so easy to go like oh gosh you know her her outfit's better than mine or oh man she got up and she was so articulate and how do I follow that or oh it's you're constantly comparing yeah, yeah. and to just do your best and shut out those yeah. negative comments. Yeah. It's so hard. It's so much easier to be like, God, I should have gotten on that Peloton. Right? <laughs> I'm such a loser. I'm so lazy. Mm-hmm. Why am I doing? You know, it's so easy to spiral down into that. Yeah. Sure. When you should just be like, I just wanted some coffee. Yeah. yeah. I wanted it's to read. Okay. I wanted to read my Newsday. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. I need a minute. <laughs> I'll so. go on it tomorrow. No big. Yeah. Tomorrow's any yeah. day. Yeah. Yeah. It's really important. I think, you know, like. Uh, someone once they made the told the story. Her name is Jen Groover. Follow her if you don't. She's really inspirational. Jen she told, Groover. Yeah, she told the story. I mean, this is years and years and years ago, but I never forgot it. How she was running track and she was this great athlete, and she made a mistake. She looked back to see where, where she was, where she where the other people yeah. were, and she tripped and fell. Mm-hmm. And it always stayed with me. And I always think like on this journey, like you only reach out your hand to help pull somebody forward yes. or give them a hug or support them, but never to try to like hold anybody back, right? Because we're all on a different journey. Right. And like you can't keep on looking back to see where other people are. Because you don't know that you're you're beginning, they could be at their, right. you know, no, I want to say their end. That sounds morbid, <laughs> but you know, they could be a lot further along than you. So it's yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a good analogy. That's also, you know, it's very visual to to say just just keep running, yeah. just just keep, just keep on the swimming. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just, right. just keep swimming. Don't yeah. worry about Move where forward. everybody is yeah. around you. Worry about you because your journey is different than everybody else's. That's, yeah. so, true. that's so true. Um, so we're at the. Uh, we talked a little bit about Valentine's Day. Are you doing anything? Do you know what you're doing for Valentine's? I mean, we own two restaurants, so probably oh, you're working. You're probably, working. <laughs> probably not. Probably not. I you know. Um, I've never been. I've never really. Yeah. I, a Valentine's Day is always one of those that I feel like. I think because I was single for so long, guys, I was a bridesmaid <laughs> 13 and a half times. Um, a half? half? Yeah, well, because yeah. I bought the dress, but she didn't walk down the aisle. Oh. So I feel okay. like that has to count for something, yes. right, when you put yeah. in the work. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think, like, being single on Valentine's Day for so many years, like, it always just made me feel bad about myself. Or when I had a boyfriend, oh, well, you know, he didn't get me what this person did. Or I just think, like, it, it's I don't know. such a Hallmark know. holiday. I know. Pressure. So it's I, a lot of pressure. It's a lot of pressure. So I just try to think of it, like, I try to think of it in a positive way. It's any excuse to show love, mm-hmm. you yeah. know, to someone. But we're not, like, big on Valentine's. Yeah. On Valentine's. I'm the same Are you? Thing. No, I, I said to Thomas the other day, I was like, so what are we doing for Valentine's Day? Like, it's coming up. And he goes... I don't even know what you're saying to me. Like, yeah, like you, do you, you want me to do something? No, what? he was like, you hate going out for Valentine's yeah. Day. I'm like, yeah, I didn't say go out. I just, I want 
I feel like we need to plan. I don't want to overdo or underdo yeah. anything. Yeah. This is the pressure. You should get a heart shaped pizza. For yeah, I was yeah, exactly. Pizzeria. A heart shaped pizza, <laughs> or um, so we have the uh, Biscotti Company. Yes, as one of our partners, yes. which is so. so what's cute. that? Oh my gosh, it's a new in Riverhead, and he's a transplant from Canada, and he makes these incredible biscottis. Ooh. Yeah, so something like local and unique. Um, of course, Hampton's we have the hand pour yeah. candles. Oh, I love we sell those them on candles. our shop. Like they're these? so good. They're on our yeah. They're on our Discover Long Island shop, uh, and one of our partners is to set chocolates okay at they have they collaborate at Peconic Bay Vineyards oh so you can do chocolate oh. and wine yeah that's cool. what I, I sampled yesterday uh, like, I'm and they're, they're so delicious. cute and I love the ones they have the chocolate there are several of them there was one in East Wind. there's there's several ones that you can do around uh, Long Island but they have these you can put a special message Ooh inside and they'll make it like a hard chocolate heart and they give you a little mallet mm. and then you crack it and you open it and there's that's like a so special so personalized that. yeah that's adorable yeah yeah you know what let's change it let's love valentine's day <laughs> She's like, think I'm of it positive. as a reason to it doesn't you know, have to be do something special yes. have special time with somebody it doesn't yeah. have to be a big production like even um simply made greetings you can have her she'll hand paint uh, a special saying, like if you have a special saying with your loved one, she hand, she'll, she can put anything you want on a it's mug, so and it can be your coffee so mug. So, like, I love the the little thoughtful, touches. the yeah. little sometimes just a text, yeah, yes. to somebody that you haven't seen in a while. It's like, Happy Valentine's Day, love you, yeah, so or you cute. are loved, right? Yeah. That's it. You are loved. It is. It's I a day. It. I like it, and um, and plus, you, I, I mean, you get to eat chocolate. <laughs> yeah, I mean, or whatever, or heart shaped pizza, heart shaped right? pizza, or like the red raviolis. Yeah, you know. Oh, the heart shaped raviolis. Yeah. You can get them from Uncle red. Giuseppe's. Yeah. Oh, mm. yeah. Or you can put anything. Like, yeah, they're cute. So cute. Yeah. Whatever. Just spend time. Yeah. Just you know what you said, at Lisa. Just and whether you're single or in a relationship or whatever, just love yourself. That's Do it. something nice for yourself. Salt get yeah. Go, yeah. Go get some of those Epsom salts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or Take coconut a bath oil and some Long Island wine and, and treat Hampton's yourself. Hand poured candle. You're good. Hey, yourself. <laughs> um, okay, so before we wrap up, in, any celebrity that you wanted to talk about? Uh, we talked about, did we talk about Paris Hilton? No. No, we, we talked, talked about, about it yeah. offline. Yeah. So she just announced it. Did you hear this? Yes. She's a mom. Yeah. Via surrogacy. Yeah, uh, I was totally we confused. Were all like, I'm what? like, wait, 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 wait. I saw she her thing. Ha- she did it so well. Her Instagram post is like a little baby with the finger wrapping around. And I was like, what? Yeah, so I, cute. I'm so happy. But good for her. For her. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Um, what else did we want to talk oh, about? Oh, so I was going to tell you. Um, did you hear? Speaking of babies, hmm. Brad Pitt's having a baby at 60. Right? I can't. I love him. I don't care. Did <laughs> you see how he looked with shooting with George Clooney in the city the other night? I know he's dreamy. He's so I dreamy. Just, I mean, he's dreamy. I know. <laughs> but I'm also like them, Clooney. Oh, like power duo. When you're 20, he's going to be 80. It's so funny. We were just talking about this the other night with my son because he's like, you're old. <laughs> and yeah. I'm like, no, we're not. I'm we're young. Not. Yeah. And then I was like, it, Dan was saying, if you if we had you when we were 20 and then 20 years from now, we would be 60 and you would be 20. You would be half our age. And then it keeps going on I, and on. I, I and I was like completely lost. I was like, carry the one. <laughs> exactly. But like by the time we were 80 and whatever, he was 60. It was like he was three quarters of our age. I don't know why that matters. I just think it's funny. Oh. I'm just, I was trying just trying to like, contribute to the conversation okay. here. Okay. I was like, you just <laughs> threw a bunch of bath at me, Sharon. I'm like, Sharon, you can't ask me to drink wine and then do math. I was like, Neither. what? No, but I just like, uh, I mean, Brad Pitt's hot and everything, but like, uh, see, uh, whatever. Two each his own. Two each his own. Positivity. Thank you for my positivity, Crystal. Oh, yeah. Oh, Elisa, positivity. Good for him. I mean, he looks great. He's very, he's very attractive. And I'm glad he found love again. Um, okay. And then... <laughs> Really quickly, I know. Do you like how I was like, it's I fine. love it. Uh, really quickly, Bachelor is back. Do you watch The Bachelor? <sighs> I love The Bachelor. You do? Oh, <laughs> Thank I you. I was worried. I was like, no, I'm the only one that watches The Bachelor. It's so addicting. So whenever I get to like watch like a little, like, you know, my job is to know what's going on. So I'm mm-hmm, always, mm-hmm. you know, what's going on. But whenever I get like a chance to like watch a little TV on my own. Yeah. You're like, yeah, yes. I, need to. I love it. Did yeah. you know that one of the first, uh, People that were off is from Long Island. Yeah, yeah. I watched her. She oh, so it's so funny because there were, oh my god, this the, this year I love the ba- the Bachelor. I don't love. He's weird. Are you? Did you watch the first episode I yet? Watched it yet? No. It's it's. I'm like I don't know. It's a train wreck. You can tell from episode mm-hmm. one. But there were two girls. One of them from Long Island, and they're wearing this dress, and it was the dress that Kenzie wanted for prom. The so prom funny. situation on Long Island, as you probably know, and you guys know, it's intense. Yeah. The Sweet dresses. 16, so they put an Instagram up already. 
and it's not until June. Mm-hmm. There's an Instagram page of the girls getting their prom dresses so that you don't get the same dress yes, they do. Yes, yes. And it's intense, and they're super expensive. Chris knows. Yep. He's got daughters that went to prom. It's crazy. How do people do it? I, it's, I don't know. I don't know. Kenzie wanted this dress, and it's very beautiful, and it was like this royal blue, but it was like $700. And I'm like, I'm sorry. For three hours. Like, I'm no. like, if you want to pay your money and split it with me, mm-hmm. then you can pay for half of it. But I'm not doing that. That's right. crazy. For so a few she hours. was wearing it? So two girls were wearing that oh, dress on The Bachelor an in page. different colors. One was one was pink, and it's Barbara Mandrell's daughter. You probably don't even know Barbara Mandrell. That sounds so funny. Uh, the Mandrell sisters. Chris is dying laughing. Um, this is one of my favorite. My mom used to listen to the Mandrell sisters. They were like Give one me was, a song that they sang. You won't you wouldn't know it. One of my favorite songs do you know one of their songs? One of my my favorite Barbara Mandrell song, and you'll have to um you'll have to Google it, but it's a great it's a great message. It's you can eat crackers in my bed anytime. <laughs> Cause that's like a that's like a saying. Don't eat you know, you can you can eat I love you so much you can eat crackers in bed. Oh you know what God, I mean? And that's funny. just like a whole such an like an eighties old school kind of they were country but one of the sisters played the violin and I played the violin so my mom was always like the man, you could be a Mandrell sister Aww. someday um, anyway her daughter one of their daughters is in it and she's very sassy she's the sassy one oh. she's stirring it up uh, but she had the same dress on as the Long Island girl who got let go and how old was the Long Island girl I feel like she was young they were young there's a lot they of young are, ones they're very young but she was great it was just that she, you know if you don't get the time to talk to him yeah, that first night yeah but there was already like crazy tears it was an, i'm like hooked i'm like oh. <laughs> yeah um but you're then they were advertising at the end they were like if you want to be a senior if you're a senior and want to uh, audition for the bachelor and i'm like o m g i would wonder how that show i told would the go. girls i was like i don't even know how that's gonna go i've seen your grandparents at their like wine parties. Oh, you mean parties. like a senior citizen? Senior I'm like citizen. a senior in high school. That's no, really no, no. Like a senior. <laughs> they're doing a senior bachelor. At oh, least they're that's auditioning. that's kind of beautiful. Give them a, yeah, give them a. That's so cute. You know what? It, it, it could be. But you think people our age are mean or whatever? When you get to be a senior... <laughs> I listen. I worked in a nursing home. I, I yes, full. They you, remember that hot team that like reached reached out to us. Tom, he, we were doing like the Love Is Blind. That and he wanted to do it. We should tell him to do I it. I was like, remember that time? I shouldn't say that, but I'm like one of your grandparents. I won't say which one. Uh, like at Christmas, drank too much wine and took out the Christmas tree. <gasps> uh, this is what I'm here for. I'm here for this. <laughs> Let's have, of course, the 20 year olds do that too. Yeah. But I'm like seniors. They will. I feel like that's going to be. But I remember at the nursing home. <laughs> Yeah, like sometimes you'd open up the closets and like there were things going on. <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> I love it. That, uh, at least uh, I already lived senior. Uh, listen, I, I feel hysterical. like yeah, yeah, that's true. They're like less inhibited too. They're not yes. scared. They're like, listen, yes. I, was, I'm a girl. I was like, wow. <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe you're right. I was like, my grandmother was in a nursing home for 12 years and they'd call me and they're like, so she threw her water pitcher on her, like she threw water on her roommate because she got mad. I was like, I wish I could do that sometimes. You want to be like pissed and you're like, uh, boom. Here. Don't even care. <laughs> um, I don't think it's that level of senior. But anyway, so I was like, oh, that'll be a fresh take. Mm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Who knew? I'd actually watch that. Yeah, <laughs> Alyssa said she would watch too. it. Yeah. yeah, I don't watch the regular Bachelor. Yeah, it's, they need yeah. to change it up. Yeah. So anyway, so that's more to come. But uh, any other celebrity? I think that was a, a good run. Yeah. Anna Delvey. Oh, Anna Delvey. Michael says, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anna Delvey, who we love. Do you? Did you ever watch Inventing Anna? Yes, I oh, love it. She's like it. VIP is always Bata. Uh, Anna Dalvey <laughs> signed a deal that for was her. Good. Thank she you. Does it really that good. was really good. <laughs> <laughs> I love Anna Dalvey, and she uh, signed a deal for an unscripted series called Delvey's Dinner Club, which oh, I will also I watch. Love. I'm here for it. For yeah, yeah, sure. That I would love. I love it. There's lots of good things coming on. We love your woo wooness. Yes. Oh, thank you. So, so thank you awesome. for joining us. And I swear, these crystals. I swear I need them so it's like I didn't even get into the week and it was so right. good I'm so glad I didn't because it's been so crazy and so stressful and I'm like you know what we talked about all fun positive things yes. yeah that's it too, right you're blessed right look at all these crazy yeah. things you get to do yeah. and yeah it's to turn it around your right? crystals are already working I'm so happy I yeah. can't like listen one day I'm gonna get up from a meeting and crystals are gonna like fall out of my bra <laughs> like I always like have <laughs> crystals on me like I don't I think that they work if, or at least they put you in the state of mind that you, yeah. you feel yeah. honestly I wonder if it like okay. makes you focus on it like, yeah it, yes. it's whatever it is right mm-hmm. whatever yes. it is for you that makes you feel like you're empowered or positive or whatever whether it's crystals or essential oil or coconut oil yeah. or 
you know, eyelashes. <laughs> Do you and be happy, right? Cheers. 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 All right. We'll see you next week. Yeah. Thank you for listening to Long Island Tea Podcast, produced by Discover Long Island, the region's official tourism promotion agency. Links and information on today's episode can be found in the episode notes below. Listen and subscribe to Long Island Tea on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon Music, or wherever you get your podcasts. Or you can watch us on YouTube at Discover Long Island NY. Thank you to Long Island Wine Country for sponsoring our Wine of the Week. Visit their website at liwines.com. For exclusive access to contests, giveaways, and events, be sure to follow us at Long Island Tea Podcast on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. To collab with us, ask questions, or just say hi, email us at spillthetea at discoverlongisland.com. Visit longislandteapodcast.com for more.